One of the graphs that people absolutely love in Focus First is our FHA appreciation graph. Now, the FHFA data that is taken from the U.S. government, we're able to put an awesome visual graph to show people appreciation over the last 20 years. One problem with that is that it's still citywide. You know, all the statistics that we really love kind of narrow down to a certain area or a subdivision in many cases. The other issue we have is a lot of our customers in Canada don't have access to the same kind of data that the U.S. government records. Now, the great thing about the visual pricing system is you can create your own appreciation charts for areas as small as you want. It's one of those things that is kind of hidden and a lot of people don't use it, but it's one of the most powerful graphs you can show to your customers to really show their appreciation. So let's go step by step on how to create that graph and what it ends up looking like. The first thing we have to talk about when it comes to creating the multi-year buying pattern, which is essentially a neighborhood appreciation chart, is the difference in searching. When it comes to pricing, we usually search for a neighborhood for the last two years of all status data. Now, in the multi-year buying pattern, we need to actually look for the last 10 years because we want to find a good length of appreciation charts. Now, there might be cases where you go further. If the customer that you're doing this for happens to have owned the home for 15 or 20 years, you want to make sure you go as far back as at least as what they purchased it. Now, we're going to look for the last 10 years of data on a kind of a standard. We're going to look at the sold information, and then we're going to look for data in that neighborhood that is within 10% square feet up and down. Uh, for a great example, let's think about a house that's 3,000 square feet. We're going to go in that neighborhood, the last 10 years of sold data, and we're going to go from 2,700 square feet to 3,300 square feet. And that's the exact actual example we're going to use next and show you how to turn on the multi-year buying pattern and then how to load your data in to find that as well as present that graph. So once we've done our multi-year buying pattern search, exported it, and now we're ready to load it into the visual pricing system, we can go right into that. Click Enable Macros to turn all the functions of the visual pricing system on. Go to Visual Pricing and navigate to where we saved that information. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open that file up. I could have saved it probably better, but mine just says export 71. Now once this loads, this area that I did the search for was a place called Rigdon Farms. So go ahead and click done. And what you'll find is the patterns are automatically created for you. Now one thing you might see though is the multi-year buying pattern is part of these patterns, but it's not showing up here in these tabs. Um, obviously, the odds of selling is not going to look quite right because we just did the sold data. But you can see it's not showing up anywhere along the bottom. We have to first actually enable it or unlock it. In order to do that, we're going to click Settings here and click Activate Multi-Year Buying Pattern. Click OK, and it brings us right back to the Start page. Now, we're going to go ahead and click Start here again, reload our data in, and it's going to do the same work it did before. But this time, after a couple seconds, when it opens all the pattern graphs, you'll now find the multi-year BP or multi-year buying pattern as an option. Let's go ahead and click this and open up the multi-year buying pattern. You'll find now that we have all the solds in these kind of see-through dots, as well as a trend line to show the actual appreciation of that neighborhood. I mean, as you can see, this has definitely been an appreciated neighborhood over the last 10 years. Now, a great way to present this is showing this to your customers. Um, obviously, it shows you the price uh, increase year range here. And then ask your customer, when did you buy your house again? Let's say this customer, for example, bought their house in January 2013. Uh, just before that, maybe this is their dot here right in the trend line. Well, now we can see, wow, you've appreciated almost $150,000. Maybe now is the time to move into your dream home or buy your first investment property. It's a great graph to be able to show people and really be able to compare to where they started to where they ended up. And creating them is pretty simple, just as simple as that. I hope this video helps you. Uh, if it does, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be releasing more videos to help you utilize the power of the visual pricing system every week.